Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the channel, welcome to some Need for Speed Payback and this is going to be a drift build on the Camaro SS. So I've had someone in the comments ask me to do a build on this thing as a drift car. So uh, this is what I'm doing right now in this video. Also they did say that this might be better, this is better, I can't remember exactly what he said. Uh, but they said that it's better than the uh, than the Buick GNX, and I'm here to test that out because the Buick GNX is one of my favorite cars to slide around with in this game because it's very very easy to control, and it's just really well like I, I think it's just really easy to control. The handling is very very good. It's very easy to keep your points up and everything. So I like that car a lot. So this has to step up to the plate apparently against the GNX and see if it beats it because the person in the comments said that it can, but I don't think so. Anyway, let's test it out after I build this thing, or after I customize it visually a little bit, because um, I don't want to keep it stuck. So I've done builds on this car in the past, and I don't really want to go ahead and spend a long, long time doing uh, more things to this car. So I'm just going to add a few bits and pieces. Very, very quick build here. Nothing too crazy here for this. We can't really change anything for the headlights since they're covered anyway. Um, so yeah, very, very quick build here. Uh, I'll probably go wide body just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Uh, and since I don't really do it that often anyway for cars like this, so we'll choose something like this. It's got to be wider and lower anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. So something like this, sure, why not? This is going to be a drift car, it's not going to be a old school classic thing. So uh, yeah, just whatever pretty much comes to mind, I'll try to add on this thing. So. Wider and lower. That's that's how this uh, that's how this build is gonna go for uh, for the Camaro. All right, so we can have a wing, but I don't really want to have a wing on it. Uh, we can change the exhaust, which I probably will. These are probably the cleanest ones. Don't really have anything else. That oh, the actual the the, the bumper exhausts don't look that bad at all. So I might just keep those instead. Diffuser. We have this bit here, which is sort of extends the bumper a little bit. It actually does look pretty good. Those wheels are really, really just... They, they, they just don't suit it at all. They're not wide at all. Just makes it funny. Uh, we can have some LED. I can't see because they're so dark. Um, we can have some LED tail lights if we really, really wanted to here. Uh, I don't want to go full on. These might look actually pretty good. They're just smoked, but they look like normal headlights. Uh, or tail lights even. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Again, I don't really want to add anything else to this thing. I don't want to change much on the car. Uh, I didn't really want to in the first place anyway, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to see if I can find myself a set of wheels for this and uh, I'll be right back. Actually, the best way to do this is if I go ahead. Oh, wait, no, I can just do this anyway. I'll just change that and then just change the perspective so I can actually see if we can get some nice wider wheels, which, uh, which I'll be right back after I find a set that I like. All right, I found this 1552s. Uh, they look a little bit interesting, but they look a bit too small, so I'm gonna go ahead and change size of those quite a bit here so same for the front and rear just make them so they're a little bit bigger than what they were before and I think they look alright now so I need to change the color of them as well because they just don't look good this way however I will wait until I get myself this is also on uh, oh we can't really change why can't we not change the caliber actually wait we can whoa <laughs> what this is probably the only time that I think drums make this car look a little bit better because look at the size of these discs. They're gigantic. Actually, I don't know if maybe I will put them on. Look at the size. They're absolutely ginormous. Can't even see the Brembo brakes. I'm not even going to put Brembo's on it. You know what? I'll put Willwoods. Why not? Why not? Don't really do it that often anyway. So if I do it, why shouldn't I? So let's change the brake discs again. I'll just put these drill ceramics on it and calipers again we'll just go with some willwood brakes um which ones did i have in the front i don't even know which ones i had in the front oh well we'll just choose these doesn't really make too much of a difference anyway um all right so i'm gonna go ahead and change the paint of it and then uh, obviously i'll do some other stuff to it um by changing some of um some of the colors of it you know the wheel colors and stuff like that so Let's uh, let's try this out, all right? Let's try this out. So some of the designs for this are very very cool looking. This I think I've already had on a car before, if I remember correctly. Wow, I actually kind of like this. It looks very very clean, and uh, and good. I'm down to put this on. The black and red just looks good together. I like it. It's very tastefully done. This. All right, we're putting this on apparently. 
And I think the wheels I might have to either paint silver, just normal silver, or or black. Um, I think I'm sort of over having black wheels on every single one of my cars, so I think I might just try silver and see. So just something like this. And uh, not chrome, definitely not chrome. Uh, metallic is probably the nicest one looking. This just looks too... Yeah, metallic is the nicest one looking, so let's apply that to all. Uh, edit secondary paint. And that's just a little center cap there. And I might keep that black. Or we can change it to like a... Eh, nah, black. Black, black, black. I should do that again. I'll apply that to all rims. And I think that is going to be it for... Yeah, this looks much better. It's silver wheels. All right, now for the tires, I'm going to get... Just, I don't know, Falcon idlers. Would, like, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Again, it just... As long as there's a little bit of text on the tires, it makes it look a little bit more interesting. I feel like this is a very underrated, like... Part or not part, it's not really a part, you just have text on the tires. It's just a really underrated thing to have on the tires, or just to have for when you're building your car, is just having some text on the tires. I think it makes it look uh, a little bit nicer. So, yeah, this is our uh, this is our little build, a very quick build on the Camaro SS. Uh, now, main and most important thing we need to drive this thing, we need to see what it's like. Apparently, it should be better than the Buick GNX. I I'm gonna say otherwise because I don't think you know what, I'm, I'm not gonna do. I, let's just test it, and then I'll give my opinion on it properly, because I'm, I'm, I'm doubtful right now of this car. I, I just am. I haven't driven it properly yet. I've driven it when it was underpowered. Um, it's definitely a lot faster than the time I've driven it. Okay, it initiates pretty hard. Okay, it's, it's actually quite good. Not even gonna lie. So far, just me driving around on this road. It's not that bad. It really isn't that bad at all. I still feel that the um, that the Buick sort of transitions a little bit faster and I don't know now. I really don't know. I have to take it out. I have to do the actual event. I have to do drifting the block and and seeing exactly, exactly what this thing is like. I like this though. It actually just doesn't drive bad at all. I, I, I didn't expect it to drive, like, terribly, but I didn't expect it to be, like, be a GNX standards, but it's, it's actually quite good. All right, let's, uh, let's speed up. I'm in auto right now. I'll probably change the manual after this. It's still a little bit slower than the GNX for transitioning. It's a little slow. A little bit slower. It's not a terrible car, though. It's a lot better than when people give me cars and tell me, Oh, this is definitely going to beat the Koenigsegg. This is the new fastest car in the game. And then I try it. It just handles like crap. It's just terrible but what is stuff like this and I'm talking about like a race build not drifting the Connors egg but yeah it's again it's not a terrible car it's it's actually kind of all right it does it's not as quick as the uh, as the GNX and I don't mean in a straight line I mean like it's not as quick when I'm when I'm transitioning or when I'm trying to like change direction quickly. It's still not bad. Like really, really not bad at all. And once you get it up to speed, like it does what you want and it stays up at that speed. One point one million points just from doing the normal route. It's really not bad. It just isn't. Alright, let's uh let's try it again. I'll change the manual and I'll also go ahead and uh, put the uh, Put my cheating glasses on, and we'll we'll go a little bit off roading, um, and uh, we'll try that. We'll try to sweat out the run and see if it's uh, or how many points I pretty much get, which is kind of what I kind of what I want to do now. So, um, all right, let's go to our settings. Change this to is driving and is driving gearbox. Change that to manual. Accept changes. Do this again, and uh, yeah, again. Now we're gonna go ahead and. Pretty much drive where we're not really supposed to be driving, but I'm still going to get a lot of points. And we'll see. Mm 
Is fourth gear the way to go? I think fourth is the way to go. Okay, it is. Yeah, it's definitely the way to go. And on the outside of the beamer, it's usually parked there. Nice. A little water here, but have to go around all of these cars. Like so. Okay, it's still doing all right. Off this way now. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I went in a little bit too late into that. Trying to turn there. Ah, uh, that sucks that I tapped off the wall, but it's fine. We're back with our multiplier being pretty much maxed out again. I just feel that I wish I didn't screw that up. That was just my fault. That was my mistake. It wasn't the car or the game or anything. It was just me messing up. So, it's, again, it's okay. I definitely don't think it's, uh... I definitely don't think it's, it's better than beer. I definitely don't think that. There we go. Finally hit the manji right. Ooh, got turning close. Nice. Uh, please, please, please. It's fine to just back my points. My multiplier is not gone. Yeah, it's, you can see the amount of points that I'm squeezing right now. And the amount of points I could possibly get with the, uh, with the Buick. Did I squeeze out? I think I squeezed out like two, two million points with the Buick. But this thing, one and a half million. I, pro I definitely would have gotten a little bit higher if I didn't like tap off the wall or anything like that. But it's, it's not quite up there with the GNX. Um, it's not a terrible car, right? By any means, it's not a bad car to drive. Um, but it's not, it's definitely not up there with being like with some of the best handling cars in the game. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Well, that was it. That was the Camaro SS as a drift build. Thank you for the suggestion, person in the comments. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Um, but I don't, don't feel bad. I forget everyone's names. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you very much for the suggestions. Thank you everybody for, uh, for watching this video. If you have any other suggestions for future builds you guys want to see on our channel, um, or anything that I've done in the past and you want me to revisit the builds uh, Maybe now that they're uh, level 399 Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye